Hello everyone, welcome to my 1.18 survival world. I'm really looking forward to starting this world with the new caves and of course the new mountains, even though I'm a little late to the party. So I hope you'll enjoy too and without further ado, let's begin. So as someone who considers themselves to be a bit of a builder, I'm quite happy with this spawn because obviously we've got a jungle, we've got a dark oak, and we've got spruce and birch as well. So I've got pretty much all the wood types available to me to use. And I'm sure there'll be some oak somewhere nearby. But ordinarily, when you start a Minecraft world, obviously the first thing you would do is punch down a tree. But considering there's a village right here, I might raid it first and see if there's anything useful that we could find. For example, a bed, which I'm hoping, if I check in this first house here, yeah, there's a bed right in here. Just looking around though, these houses all just appear to be ones that have beds in. So there doesn't seem to be any of ones that would have a chest in. So I might have to move quickly on. But I do see some crops here, so I will just gather these up. And I'm hoping it does look like we've got all the key ones we would need. Even beetroot, which is pretty useless aside from trading with villagers of course. So if we scoop this all up, I think it might finally be time to punch down a tree. And this looks like a good one to start with. Then of course we'll get some basic stone tools and maybe do a bit more exploring. So, I've set up a small base under these birch trees here, where I'm planning to maybe build a starter base. But, as you can see, my food situation is quite low. But luckily when I was gathering some stone, I did notice another village over here and it appeared to have a very valuable resource, which is of course the, if I can, oh, that is a hole, I nearly just fell down that. You should be able to see in a minute, the village's most valuable resource. What might it be you wonder, diamonds? Well, no, it's of course the hay bale, because you can get a lot of bread from a small amount of hay bale. So I'm gonna head down there and raid the crops. Hello bee, don't mind me, just stealing your hay. I'm sure the villagers won't mind though, they don't seem to use their hay. I mean look, this iron golem doesn't even seem to care, and it's not exactly like they're very well they're very well technologically advanced, considering their house is floating. But I've just noticed as well, these are some cats, and I would quite like some cats. So I might come back here in a bit. Thank you for your hay. I'll use this really well, I promise. But I have to say, I'm not quite feeling the vibe as much in this village, so I am going to head back up there and maybe start some mining. I think if I make a quick chest to put some of my excess things away, then it's probably about time to head down the mines and see if I can get a little bit of coal and some iron as well, because I'm probably going to want some armour, considering the night does appear to be coming and I'm not the best at dealing with mobs so I will make some bread first and then I will head down oh it's dark in here please I don't want any trouble okay I see some iron there but that is a skeleton okay oh and a zombie yes shoot the zombie no. Oh. oh, good. Right, I did see a bit of iron here, so we'll grab this. But it does look like this is a bit of a dead end, so we probably won't be staying in here for very long. And I think I did see a little bit of, yeah, there's a little bit of coal here, which we will need. As you can see from this hole I've made, it is starting to get dark, so I think I'll head back to the base and sleep, and then we'll try and find a bit of a bigger cave, because that one is, to be perfectly honest, quite disappointing. Please don't be any mobs yet. Please don't be any mobs. Okay, it's a quick dash, quick dash to the bed. While I pass here though, I did notice this. It's this tunnel that goes sort of through the hill and down there to the other village. And I thought that would be something that we could use and construct some sort of interesting cave-like path 
to connect the two villages. So that was an idea for a future product I had. Something that would, okay, this is not your house, so I'm just going to kick you out of the bed. Thank you. Anyway, it is morning now, so I'm going to head on down, try and find a new cave, and gather some more resources. So I've just found what appears to be quite a big cave, so I'm going to head on down and see if we can see any iron, any coal, if it goes deep enough, maybe diamonds, but let's have a look. Okay, this is definitely not going to take us down to diamond level, but I do see some coal down there, so we might head down and grab that. Now, ordinarily, I would be quite careful with something like this, but what is life without a bit of risk? There we go. Oh, and I actually see some iron right down here. Oh, just the one piece. Anyway, I'm going to do a bit of exploring, and I will see you guys back at the surface after I fought these skeletons, or they fought themselves, and I have some iron. So, off I went to mine iron but not without struggling to make torches. My goodness, I was struggling, as well as getting jump scared by a zombie, nearly getting killed by a creeper. Oh wait, I did. And as you can imagine, that is not the most exciting thing or the most happy thing to happen to you. And on top of all of that, well, I nearly got blown up by a creeper again. So, as you can see, I'm back at the surface and I also have some very shiny diamonds. I wasn't really looking for them particularly, I just sort of found them. But really it's quite useful because I think it's about time to build a starter base. And for my starter base I want to use a certain material up there. And in order to get that I need Silk Touch. Now obviously anyone who's played Minecraft for any time knows that to get Silk Touch I'm going to need either villagers to trade with them and then use an anvil to put it on an axe or I'm going to need an enchanting table and I'm going to do the classic Minecraft method of getting an enchantment table. So those diamonds are going to be very useful as I can make a diamond pickaxe with them. And then, obviously, I can mine some obsidian, which I need to mine the enchantment table. And it's lucky that I got more than uh, three, because I obviously need, I believe it's two for the enchantment table as well. So, to get nine is really quite good. So, let's make the diamond pickaxe now. I'm hoping I get an achievement for this. No? Alright, no achievement. But the next step on my list is to go and find a lava pool so I can get that obsidian. So I will see you when I hopefully find a lava pool. So, as you will have seen from those clips, I didn't find a lava pool, but I did get the obsidian I need for an enchantment table. I also found some useful things that are going to allow me to make bookshelves so I can get the full level 30. So, this is going to be a grindy process, but I'm going to gather all the materials I need for my starter base, including silk touch because I need mushrooms. I'm going to build the starter base and I'm going to bring you back in once that's done. Well, we may or may not have built a house, but as you can see, oops, as you can see, 
we have got a small starter house here but there is no landscaping there is if i just hop up this glowberry ladder something quite interesting there is no interior there's in fact there's a hole in the roof so as you can see it's all a little bit of a mess we've got all the landscaping we've got windows to put in we've got the interior so i'm going to go ahead and do this and i will see you when that is done we may or may not have a slight problem so in that last clip i was about to go and start the terrain extra details the interior things like that then i realized that i built this three high now i plan this building creative and i built four and so i'm gonna have to take the whole thing down and i know there are youtubers out there who have done way bigger things than this but this is not something I want to do. And that's why the roof, you can see I added a little bit to the roof, looks kind of strange at the moment. So I'm going to have to tear this whole thing down and build it again. So I will see you when that is done. So everyone, we've done it. I have built the starter house correctly this time. As you can see, we've gone for a nice mushroom theme, quite natural. Some custom mushrooms, which... I hope look all right. Maybe let me know in the comments down below what you believe. I could do with a few more flowers for these patches, but I managed to get some drip leaf, some rockery, some azalea bushes, a nice sort of pond here. Maybe found some lily pads to add in there. And I'll just give you a quick tour around the house. It's quite a small house, but I think it works effectively. We've got this little uh, sort of pergola thing. Then this is the downstairs. We've got some organized storage, as you can see. Nice and organized. We've got uh, the three furnaces that we might be in the crafting table down here. I tend to always have a chest monster, as you might have seen earlier. I had one, a bit of one there. So I'm glad that I've managed to sort out some organised storage. And then upstairs, this is the upstairs. We just got sort of, it actually looks a bit like an S shape, I've realised, but some sort of storage, but also sort of decorative stuff. Uh, an anvil here, and obviously the bed, and a nice painting a lantern and dark oak sapling so quite decorative stuff i'm quite a fan of this glow berry ladder i think that's an interesting uh interesting design feature but yeah um i'm really pleased with this house so let me know what you think of it i need to find a place for this uh bone meal sorter at some point but uh let me know what you think of it in the comments below the other thing I have done is I uh, got some villagers that I was trading with while I was doing the grinding. So I've got, I did have more than this, but they died, I think. So I've got some Fletchers down here and uh, a farmer just in that trap door over there. So I think next episode we might do something for them, maybe. That could be good. Um, yeah. So I think we might do something for villagers. I'd also like to go to Nether because I've got enough for another portal and i kind of feel like going to a fortress so i think that's what we'll do in the next episode but the other thing i wanted to show you if we just head into my storage room was when i was doing a bit of grinding because this did take a lot of grinding actually there's quite a lot of materials involved in here i did a bit of mining and as I probably, you might have seen earlier i got a lot of diamonds so i think off camera i'm going to do a bit more mining ready for next episode tidy a few things up around here and uh enchant some diamond armor which should be good but as the sun's setting i'd just like to say a massive thank you to you all for tuning into this video i've put a lot of work into it it's obviously my first video on youtube so any support that you can give me would be greatly appreciated um the music that's been used in the editing i'll put that down in the description below so thank you for that and any other links that I need, any other information, will be on the description below. So please let me know what you thought of the episode down in the comments, and I will hopefully see you next time. Goodbye!